Before, uh, I, I want to visit with you, Ms. Metzke, but before I do, I just want to clear one thing up. Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? <laughs> Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a. Uh, we it's, can it's recognize that this. She's the actual men, though. She's a bigot. How dare she? Pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a. Uh, we it's, can it's recognize that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, I see. <laughs> I like how she says it like, like you're being silly. Obviously, uh, uh, trans man and one of the other two spirited 98 different genders, uh, uh, dancing unicorns can have uh, babies too. Obviously. You silly goose. So your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to <laughs> recognize that your line of it's right. His face. <laughs> it's just like, that's how we all feel, right? It's just like, oh, God. All right. Just get it. I just, I'm trying to understand. Uh, just what, what was it again? I, I'm losing track now of their 200 different genders you have now. Right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening oh. up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of... That is violence. It's weird that's like uh, with the trans community, that's the only community where they say words uh, uh, can be violence. It's opening them up to violence. It's opening up to violence. But they never give an example. They never have an example. Give me an example how my words or anybody who said something similar to me has caused the violence. A direct connection. They can't do it because there is none. It's a bunch of BS. They can call for, call for literal violence against conservatives, Trump supporters, straight white males, whatever. That's not conservative violence. Calling for actual violence isn't violence, but uh, just stating a fact is calling for violence, apparently. These people are not, they're not real. Whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important because of my us, line of questioning. So we can't talk about it because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm is denying that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you are believe you? that are uh, men can get pregnant? What an annoying twat! She is uh, the worst. Pretending not to know that they exist. I'm denying that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that there, uh, men can get pregnant? No, they cannot. And if you think they can, then you are goddamn retarded. No, I don't think women can get <laughs> So you pregnant. are denying that trans people exist? Think and that leads to violence? Is this how you run your class? Yeah, because we don't live in your make-believe world. Everything you say, everything that's coming out of your stupid goddamn mouth is a make-believe. It doesn't exist. You make shit up, and then when we don't play along, we're transphobic, we're homophobic, we're all these phobics. It's like you literally just made that up. How is that offensive? You add a new gender, you add a new letter to the LGBTQA whatever every single day. I can't keep up with it. You want to call yourself this or that, that's fine. Go ahead. But I'm going to say what I want to say, and if you're offended by it, I don't give a shit. Shut up. You live in your make-believe world. Stay there. Leave me out of it. It just—it's so annoying at this point. If you have—if you haven't—if you couldn't tell, I'm annoyed. No, I don't think. <laughs> so you are it. denying that trans people like this thing. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you, Absolutely. or are they also treated <laughs> like this, where no, 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 they're, they're told that to they're question. opening no, up they people can't. to oh, violence? We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, well, no, I, I would learn a not. lot. I've learned you, a lot. I just know. This <laughs> Extraordinary. Yep. Um, Ms. Matsky, let me ask you something. She's a teacher. Go figure. And look, we're at a pivotal moment right now where we are going to either allow their make-believe uh, uh, a world coincide with reality or we're going to fight it. 
And to preserve a good society, a healthy society, raising good kids, we need to fight it at every step of the way. We can't allow it, not even for a second. It's it's it, it's not even like they're like, oh, you're being, you're mean, you're you're phobic, you're this. It's like we're literally stating a fact. There are only two sexes. The sky is blue. The grass is green. But they don't want to live in reality. They make believe their entire lives. They make stuff up to make them feel better. And if anyone says, well, that's not real in so many words, they don't know how to react because they're never told no their entire lives, certainly not through college or anything. They're never told no. And then when they get to the real world, they don't know how to react. So they riot and they cancel. They go after people's sponsors or seeing with the quartering and other people because they don't know how to react. They've never been told no. They've never been told you can't have this. You can't say that. And they can call themselves whatever they want and all that. It's the First Amendment rights. But I shouldn't have to obey you because that's pretty much what it is. Call me this thing. Address me as this. Say men can get pregnant. Say this happens or else. It's like, no. You want to say that into your little inner circle? You can. I'm not going to take that away from you. But I don't have to live in your make-believe world. I don't want to. And that's the way it's got to be, or they're going to win, and society's going to collapse because these people are not sane. She's not okay in the head, this woman. There's something literally wrong with her that she thinks this. And it's not me insulting her, stating a fact. She's living in a make-believe world. She's mentally ill. It's not normal. And if you guys feel the way I do, make sure you slap that like button. Slap the subscribe button and keep up to date with me. I love to converse with people in the comments and when I go live to talk to some of you guys to, you know, kind of bounce ideas off and feedback and all that. I love to hear your comments and all that. Leave them below. Follow me on my social media, which is linked in the description as well. I appreciate all you guys turning out for the live stream. It's been a blast. It's been a, a good time. Make sure you follow me on, you know, uh, Getter, what, a True Social. I'm on the alternatives and not on Twitter anymore. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace. God bless. Thank you.